Fiddlers. I'm Reju and this is my daughter Nia. Uh, we are back with another video in our ongoing series Mum and Daughter Cooking. So today the theme is plantain and we're going to be using two different types. We're going to be using the raw one and the ripe version. Yeah and in our country in the place where we come from this is called Nendra Param and that is Nendra Kaya. So we are going to make the chips uh, the banana chips with the raw one and paramburi with the ripe one. So let's get to the video. <laughs> okay, to the first step, uh, we need to peel the banana and then slice it into thin slices, not too thin and not too thick. Uh, so the chips gets very crispy. So let's cut the edges and then with a peeler, you can peel the banana. And I'll show you, you know, the slices. I'm going to slice the banana now. You need to see that the slices are even. So I think once you do it a couple of times, you, you get the hang of it. So you can see they're not very thick and not very thin. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Mine isn't cut. Mine is very thin compared to yours. You have big thick strips why do we not peel it like a normal banana why do we peel it with a peeler uh, because we want the skin but we don't want the you know external layer so I've cut some of it and Nia is cutting the rest uh -oh. how is it going Baba? Uh, I'm cutting like halves which isn't great but it's okay I'm doing the claw grip I learned in school like this so I don't chop my fingers uh oh but that's not what's supposed to happen bananas are now cut into slices the banana chips are now cooking so for the color we need to add some turmeric powder The chips are frying well, you can see, you know, uh, they're nice. I usually like to use the skin, otherwise, you know, we'll just be um, wasting the skin. So when you're making it at home, you can use the whole banana. But uh, when you buy it from the shops, you can see you'll get the chips without the skin like this. But yeah, I like to use the skin. These are now crispy and we can take this out they look really good the color is nice as well mm. i'll add the next batch and then while that is cooking uh, we can do the uh, parampuri so while the raw banana chips are cooking uh, we'll uh, make the batter for the parampuri or the ripe banana fritters so I've taken two cups of plain flour, you can take even maida and we can add sugar um, based on how sweet you want it to be. If you want it to be very sweet, you can add more sugar but I'm going to add a medium level. So I'm adding at least three tablespoons and one tablespoon rice flour to make it a bit crispy. and. A small pinch of salt to this mixture we'll add some water and this uh, batter has to be like a runny consistency so uh, I'm going to use a blender to mix this you have to uh, mix the flour and water uh, so I'm going to use a blender the parampuri batter is now ready you can see the consistency it's uh, it's a bit watery uh, yeah so this is the consistency you need I'm just going to chop at the top and maybe make a line and just open it up I only know this because I've seen my mum do this a bunch of times and it just comes off like that like a normal banana obviously like that yeah okay so now I'm going to cut it just like we did the banana chips but a little bit thicker. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh. Ah. Let's run away. Okay, we'll leave it there. Okay. I'm heating some oil in another pan to make the uh, banana, uh, ripe banana fritters. And you can see uh, banana chips are frying. Coming along very nicely. Like yes. Made, made. Yeah, so once this oil is hot, I'm going to do the parampuri. So I'm going to try with one. So you dunk it in, fully coated. And just fry it. Yeah, the oil is hot. We'll just add the rest. Dunk it one by one. Oh, just like that. Yes. Okay. And very quickly as well. <laughs> just very quickly, yeah. Let's turn it because I think it's cooked on one side. I'm taking the uh, Ooh, looks very good. fritters out. It's done. They're nice and golden. Mm -hmm. Next batch is already in the making. That small one is for me. Okay. Yeah, they're nice and crispy. Ta -da! So this is our uh, sweet and savory banana dishes. So how was your experience making this? Oh, it was really good. And it took like barely any time at all. I thought it takes a while usually. My mum always makes this for me when I go back to uni. So yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so this is a very quick snack mm -hmm. uh, when you have friends over. Uh, yeah. And hope you'll try this dish. And we'll be back with another dish very soon. Until then, like, share, and uh, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video bye, bye.